Hi, I'm uh, going to talk to you today about GatherTown, and we are going to be sharing with you the link to enter our Wise Honors Community Spaces in GatherTown, plus a password. So right here, you will land into the space, um, and you will see we have uh, different options to, to join for different events and activities. I'm just going to collapse the side um, participant list and chat window so it's a little bit fuller screen. So here you're going to be seeing um, a toolbar right here in this um, vertical, this gray toolbar here. And the toolbar, you'll see how you have different options. And this um, is where you put your name. And then here, this respawn button is what you'll be needing to do every time you want to return to this space. You'll, you'll hit respawn to come right back to this, to this area. You also have um, other toolbars, the items in the toolbar, which we'll talk about now. So this is a, considered your like your radius interaction distance. And as we go through the space, I'll talk to you about what that means. It's usually set to a wide radius, so that means your interaction, you'll be interacting with people you come across as you move around in the space. Um, you have a chance to raise your hand if you're in a class and we're using that feature. You'll have a chance to share your screen. Um, if you want to collaborate with others and share your screen, you have the, um, you can mute your microphone and your video, so you can turn off your cameras and your microphones. Um, and then uh, this is a mini map feature. And then here at the bottom is you can change your little person. So if you want to change the way your character looks, you can do that in this space, in this uh, icon. Okay. All right, so now we're going to enter into um, one of the spaces. So you will be getting um, by email what uh, your table number is going to be. So here we'll enter the space by navigating where it says enter here. And you will be getting a table number, and we will let you know what your table number is so you can meet up with your mentor. And each of these tables is a defined space, so you'll only be connecting with the people sitting at your table. Um, so if people at table 11 will hear what people at table 10 are saying, and likewise at table 1. So here, I've, right now, I've approached a mentor who's sitting at table 1 for me, and she's waiting for me. Right now, I have her mic and her camera turned off. So this is just to demonstrate. So, so right now, we're close to one another, and we can talk, and we're all, anyone sitting at table 1 will have a chance to talk um, with one another, and we won't have to be uh, hearing other people's conversations at other tables. So as we move away, um, we are no longer connected, so we lose that connection and the person becomes grayed out. And that will happen as you move around the spaces. So some spaces are designated as private spaces, like numbered tables, and other spaces are just open, so you're going to just connect with people as you get close to them. So for my little example person, I'll move her away from um, the space. So this is now a kind of public space, so as I move away from that person, she gets grayed out. And then as I get closer to her, we are both now connected. So that's how Gather Town works, um, just kind of like how life works. If you move away from someone, you don't really talk to them, and as you approach them, you'll have the chance to connect with that person. And as that person wants to walk away, um, like she has something else to do or she saw somebody else, you no longer are connected to that person. So um, that's how this, this uh, gather town is working. So I see as I get closer to her, I start to connect. And then as I move away, um, we, we're not connected. So we're gonna, I'm going to show for this, for this demonstration that we're both going to go into another room. So now we're in another room. So again, as I move away from her, we, I lose the connection. And she can go on her own way and talk to whomever else she might like to talk to. Um, and as I go around the space, we, you know, we're both in the space, but we're not connected to talking to one another until we physically move our um, avatars, our little person, close to one another. So then as we move away from each other, we um, will lose that connection. So that's how that works. And you can imagine multiple people in the same spaces. So as you're, you know, moving close and towards each other, you you can group up and hang out on the seats and, and connect with one another. And then let's say you see somebody else that you wanted to talk to, you can run over and have a chance to um, connect with her. Like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> so you can move around the space that way. Um, here we have a little info screen. If you hit X, you can interact with it. And this describes um, what we'll be doing in these spaces and um, what you can expect, how the layout of the space looks. And you can increase the size if you wanted to. So we 
we started in the ballroom and, and the little person and I went, we went through this way and we kind of just, um, are, we're in this space now and that's where we, we are. And again, another thing to interact with, you can see we will post an agenda here. Um, so you can, you have an updated itinerary of what the day will look like for that event. And as you move away, you can, um, you can leave that. And this just, you can just walk around the room and every time you see a little doorway, that's just another thing to connect with in a new space. So we're going to now, um, if we were running into other people, let's say there were people sitting on the couch, we could go up to them and then we would connect with them again. So you'll get a feel for what the how the, the places connect as you um, as you move about the space. So here we're going to reconnect with our mentor. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. And uh, we can we can go um, let's say to another another space together. And we can connect here outside and just another another thing to say. So that's the uh, uh, scheduled event space. So I'm going to now hit respawn so that we can um, visit another space. So by hitting respawn, I'm being taken back to the landing page. So let's say it's a different day and now I need um, help with office hours. I can choose to enter that space and it says, please wait to be seen. And I will wait in the in the spaces here um, until uh, someone someone calls me out. So in these four offices, we're going to have our staff members um, waiting on one of these these dots. So each each of these two dots in each of these offices is a private conversation. So the staff member is sitting on this particular dot, and then I'm sitting on the opposite dot. That means we're only having a private conversation, and nobody else will hear us. Even if there are people in this space here, it's like when we connected with our mentor, when she wasn't close to us, we weren't hearing her or seeing her. It's the same as this. So if, if there's staff members visiting with other students and meeting with other students, we will not be hearing their conversations. Only if you're sitting on the respective two pair dot, two, two dot pairs. Once we're, once that person, let's say, is done with seeing a student and that student walks away, she may come out and get, come to, the staff member may come out to see you and ask you to come and join. When you're done with your conversation, you can exit the space by um, choosing that respawn button, or you can just simply close out your browser tab. So I'll just show you some other spaces. Here is, for, let's say, if you want to have an informal mentor meeting, you can, let's say, hang out on the couches and meet up with your mentors and, and fellow mentees by being close to one another. These little notches downward, each of these notches takes you to another space. And these are um, connected spaces, connected private spaces. So this whole classroom setting is everyone can connect with one another. Just irrespective of how close you are to one another. So the person at the front of the room can talk to the person at the back of the room, or the side of the room, without needing to be physically, uh, your little person needing to be physically close because this space is a, considered a private space. There's a little, um, in the very, very bottom of this screen, this space is considered a hallway and you're not connected to one another um, as you, you'll have to physically move into the space to, to be connected. Um, as you're down at the very bottom, you're considered in a hallway, so you're not yet in that room. And this is similar to this space. So if, if I want to enter this space, I physically have to go up into the classroom space to enter it. If I was just seeing who was around and I was in this little hallway area, I wouldn't interrupt them. I wouldn't connect with them. I just kind of let them be. They're having a private conversation, and, you know, I can just keep keep going on. Same with this room. I had to physically kind of move my little person into the space in order to join um, with the people in the room. If I leave that room, like by going one level down, now I'm not connected to them. 
So I'm going to physically move into the space and we'll say I'm entering a private space and that way everyone in the space will connect with us. So you can use these spaces for your, for your groups or you to, for, to collaborate. And then each of those rooms has a door that takes you to the hall as well. So you can you can imagine how many people can use the space at once, how you can run into people um, sitting in different sections of the spaces. If let's say one mentor group wants to hang out here on these little um, these little this little bit of seating, and another group perhaps wants to use the blue couches, you can kind of see who's around, but not interfere if they're having a private conversation or having you know a collaborative meeting. Um, you can see who's there, but not necessarily need to interrupt them. You can just kind of see who's hanging out. This is an interactive space to show you how these rooms connect, similar to the previous room that I showed you. So we are in the hallway here. We were just looking at the, the poster here. And these arrows indicate which rooms are connected and how they're connected by, you know, which doorways will connect these spaces. And then you can look to see how these spaces are private spaces. This is a public space. And then there's a classroom here, which I can show you. If we choose to have our classes here, um, it, it will take place in, in something like the multi-use classroom. So I will show you entering into the multi-use classroom. So here we have a space that's defined. The seating space is all connected to one. So no matter if you're sitting in the front row or you're sitting in the back row, you will be able to be connected to that person. Um, if you're in the aisles, you need to be close to the person to talk to that person. Um, physically, your proximity needs to be close in order to connect. If you are in these little um, four seat rows, you know each two rows is a is a group, so you can have um, group work in these spaces. In this area on the right, where the where the tables where the comfy seating is. This is just public space, so you could do icebreakers here. You can um, interact with one another based on how close you are to that person. And if you go in through this doorway, you'll see that you're actually connected to those other, that those mentor spaces and those collaborative hangout socializing spaces. Okay, so hopefully um, you've had some questions answered and we've shown you what our gather town looks like and um, looking forward to running into you in gather town thanks